Hi, in this video, I'll be talking about my workspace lighting and my experience with the BenQ desk lamp. But first, I wanted to let you know that I've created a web page list of all of my favorite watercolor painting supplies. I've included everything from paper, pens, brushes, palettes, helpful tools, lamps, light bulbs, and even video making equipment for those who are interested in recording top down art videos. I'll put a link in the description section if you'd like to check it out. Now let's take a look at my lighting situation. My older Outlight lamps have been giving me a lot of problems, including buttons that get stuck in place, concerning popping and clicking noises when powered off, and one of them is even overheating and turning brown. I do love the daylight bulbs that Outlight brand makes though. I had a couple spare bulbs for these older lamps, so I decided to try their next model, a flip open style lamp that took the same bulb. I quickly found that while this lamp was nice, I really missed the flexible neck allowing me to put the spotlight at any angle I needed it. I run at least a couple daylight bulbs overhead in a ceiling fixture or a standing lamp, but I find that working at night I also really like the bright, focused light of a desk lamp. It was perfect timing when the nice people from BenQ, a company that offers high quality monitors, projectors, and lighting on Amazon, wrote asking me if I'd like to try their lamp. I noticed that this was a much higher end lamp than the models I've been using, and I jumped at the opportunity to try one in exchange for an honest review. I've been using this lamp for over a month now so that I could really get a feel for how helpful it is before finishing this video. It's a pretty large lamp and coming in such a big box in multiple parts, I worried it might be hard to set up. It ended up being super simple though, aside from the muscle strength needed to pick up the really solid metal base. This lamp feels very high quality. It definitely doesn't look like any corners were cut in its construction. It has a super bright LED bar measuring over 15 inches wide. It's slightly curved to cast a wider area of light, reaching my whole desk. This results in a gentle peripheral light that is easier on my eyes due to illuminating the surrounding areas better than a smaller spotlight. Being so large, I was worried that it would get in my way on my desk, but the hinged arms and the ball joint under the light allows you to move it around any way that is convenient for your space. I love the simple operation of this lamp despite having so many options. You just tap the touch sensitive metal loop at the top to turn this lamp on and off. If you hold the loop for a couple seconds, it goes into a mode where the lighting changes to try to match ambient lighting, which seems ideal for those using it by their computer monitors or in bed for reading a book at night. To exit that mode, I just turn the knob next to the loop, which controls how dim to bright the light is. Then I press the knob to change the control to warm or cool hues. This was the majorly helpful part of the lamp for me, as I was able to change the bulb to project the exact same brightness and daylight cool white color as my Otlight lamps. This is incredibly useful for seeing the correct hue in your artwork in the middle of the night, and not being surprised that you, what you painted looks drastically different in the sunlight the next day. There's a lot of control involved, with about 10 clicks between the warmest yellow to coolest white light output. I found that my favorite setting is about three clicks from the coolest light and I keep it on a maximum brightness. Like most LED lights, this bulb area is not replaceable, but they say the life of the light is about 17 years. In general, most lamps of this type are good for over 10,000 hours. After using this lamp for several hours every day for a month, I've found that it's often the only lamp I turn on when I'm working for painting off camera. When needing things super bright for recording, I also like having multiple room lights. I prefer two to three lights to help with overall lighting coming from different angles, which reduces cast shadows, such as darkness from my hand over my art. I don't know about you, but sometimes getting started is the hardest part with artwork. It seems like a million little things get in the way. I find keeping certain tools out and ready or near my desk, in addition to this super convenient quick tap on light, is helpful for not interfering with my ability to just get started with painting. If you enjoy using metallic watercolors, you might also find this type of light really helpful for showing the shimmer of your reflective paints. 
After adding desk lamps instead of just ceiling lights or floor lamps, I found that my cameras were finally catching the sparkle that my eye could see. For those who are hobbyists or morning people with access to window lit desk areas, I can see only needing one or two less expensive overhead daylight bulbs. For those who are painting frequently, especially at night or experiencing eye strain from the small spotlight lamps, I could see the BenQ light being worth the investment. Over the years, I've collected more than a few mid-price lamps to place around the room, but over time, I've burned through enough of those to question which is the best option. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you prefer working in daytime natural light, having a few cheaper lamps, or investing in a more expensive, high-quality lighting solution like this? Let me know in the comments. If you'd like to see more, you can find all of my detailed swatch card images, results from my independent light fast testing, and other art supply reviews on my website. I'm currently building a huge pigment database where thousands of colors can be compared side by side with paint from other brands. Updates about this project, along with line art drawings and high res color scans, are also available on Patreon. Thanks for watching.